Welcome to Overseas. Our guest for this episode is a very well-known businessman in the Arab world and in the West also. He is the chairman of the UN Global Alliance for ICT and Development and he is the deputy chairman for the UN Global Compact. He worked as a teacher and he worked as a translator. He also launched a career in the field of intellectual property rights and accounting. He is Mr. Talal Abu Ghazali. First of all, welcome to the show, Mr. Abu Ghazali. Thank you very much. Thank you for uh, being with us. Uh, let me start with uh, you by a question about your investments here in Syria and this country. I think you're, uh, you're meeting me here and I'm very honored that I receive you in our corporate headquarters. This building in itself is a symbol of our confidence in the Syrian economy. We have uh, constructed this uh, uh, corporate uh, uh, building for our use ex exclusively, mm -hmm. and it is equipped with the best and uh, most uh, developed state-of-the-art uh, technology, including uh, training facilities and including uh, ICT uh, communications uh, uh, of the highest quality and I must use this opportunity to compliment uh, mm -hmm. the progress that has been achieved in Syria in the ICT field because that's my main concern Sector. over this uh, period uh, few years back and future responsibilities as the as you mentioned as the chairman of the global alliance uh, for ICT and uh, development. Mm -hmm. So we can say that your investments here in the country are only in the ICT sector in Syria? No, we are in uh, intellectual property mm -hmm. and we are the largest uh, globally in intellectual property, including America and the rest countries of the world. So we are ahead of any other intellectual property firm anywhere in the world. And that is because we used ICT technology in developing our services, yeah. which is why I was selected by the Secretary General to lead uh, the use, the program for the use of ICT for development. Mm -hmm. This is how we developed our own organization to become the global leader. Mm -hmm. Secondly, we are the largest uh, accountancy firm and auditing firm, legal firm throughout the Arab world, consulting firm, and training. We are the largest capacity building organization also probably in the world. Mm -hmm. And that covers every aspect of capacity building. Actually, most of our investment, and if you look at our website, our mission since 1972 has been the contribution to capacity building in the Arab world for Arab economic development. Mm -hmm. Everything we do is Arab and everything we do is how to build capacity building in the Arab world. This is our main investment. So looking at the whole investments you have maybe in the Arab world, or let's speak only about Syria specifically now, uh, how do you see the investment climate here in the country? I, I have been uh, following the progress, which was very studied, very well organized, and I must say that the what I have seen, and I'm very closely related to this because through my my very close uh, working relationship with the Deputy Prime Minister, uh, Dr. Derderi, uh, and uh, the, the Deputy Prime Minister. And I, I have uh, uh, been watching the progress in every sector of economic development. In other words, in building what we call an investment, a better investment environment. Mm -hmm. And incidentally, we're working with the, with the World Bank now on producing a guide on every country in the Arab world on its investment climate. Mm -hmm. uh, that covers and includes all investment uh, uh, aspects, uh, d d promotion, uh, promoting investment, including infrastructure, including the human capacity building. And that's why, incidentally, we are developing here, as if you're interested in our investments, mm -hmm. we're setting up in this building, yeah in Damascus, the probably the largest training center in the whole region uh -huh. for professional services. Okay. And we're in the process of uh, m m registering our uh, Talal Bogazali Academy for Professional Services, mm -hmm. which provides all aspects needed for governmental and business development. Yeah. 
so how do you see the future of maybe the investment or the economy as a whole here in Syria? What are the positive, what are the negative let things, that, especially that we have witnessed a lot of regulations, refreshment of the whole thing here in Syria? Let, let me give you a live example. Yeah. I had the honor yesterday of visiting Homs, mm -hmm. uh, hosted by the Chamber of Commerce and the Chamber of Industry. And on my way to Homs, I visited the industrial city. And I was so impressed to see what has been developed there in a very short period. Five years is a short period in the life to it's have it's such a, a day. City. To have such a, an infrastructure and facilities operating many of them uh, for productivity in various industries. Mm -hmm. And I had a tour uh, of the location and I was also impressed by the long-term planning because what has been developed there is only the nucleus and it is a plan for a long-term expansion that would make it eventually, I am sure, a major industrial base in the world, mm -hmm. not just in, in, in Hamas. And of course, Hams is privileged to be the cent in a central location, so yeah. it's, it's a central hub yeah. for, for Syria. And I was on around uh, uh, on, 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 in Damascus and said, this way you go to Damascus, this way you go to Halab. New directions. Every, uh, on this roundabout, you have all the directions to, mm -hmm. the, to the major major locations in the country. So, uh, and then I met with the, with the boards of director mm -hmm of the Chamber of Commerce and the Chamber of Industry. And we discussed many development plans, including many future industrial projects, but more importantly, capacity building plans. They were very interested and very keen on how to develop capacity, uh, uh, human capacity. So in addition, you were also interested in the industrial sector here. Also. Well, of course, because we serve the industrial center. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, particularly in industry, uh, our organization represents the Arab world mm -hmm. since 20 years on the uh, standard setting body of ISO. Uh -huh. So ISO standards that are developed for the whole world, not for the region. ISO standards that are developed for the whole world are developed uh, by a board on which we are represented. And we advise and help companies how to qualify and to become uh, uh, ISO certified. Mm -hmm. This is only in, uh, if you refer to industry, but if you refer to education, which is my great concern because human capacity building yeah. is education. Um, we uh, recently held a conference here in Damascus jointly with the um, University of Damascus on quality assurance and accreditation in education. I happen to be the chairman of the Arab organization yeah. Uh, which is also uh, honorarily chaired by uh, Amr Musa. Mm -hmm. And this organization is devoted to how measure quality, improve it, and certify it mm -hmm. in all inst educational institutions.